Hi everyone, Battery Rashi. Today we're doing a uh, battery on a Porsche Cayenne 2020 model. If you need a jump start, you do the jumper point here. But because this battery is completely dead, plug in here. The battery is under the seat. So we'll go through the process of taking the battery out. This is a LFP battery, which is a lithium battery. Um, if you change it to an AGM, there's a process to change it. Okay. okay. Looking at the battery, you've got a 10 mil here for the negative terminal. And then a 10 mil here. And then inside here, you've got the 13 with an extension so just got to take that out that's the battery bracket holder and then remove this battery we have a sensor plug here which is this one which we will take out and also a battery discharge tube here okay so this is the lfp battery that we took out um, then we're going to replace it with the agm stop start battery in order to do that because there are plugs here and here we have to put in this three components this is the, the red terminal sensor the black negative terminal and then the OBD to drive and this is thanks to my supercarexpert.com I ordered it from there so you guys need it i'll put the link on the channel we put the agm battery in there now it's got to fit the the bracket back on then we'll connect the positive and the negative terminal okay the next step is to we got to remove this negative terminal and with a 13 mil 13 mil and then replace it with a new negative terminal because this one has a sensor on it so we got to trick the system into thinking that there's a sensor plugged into the terminal because with an AGM battery there is no sensor put to plug it in so that's why we have to install this device so if you plug in the agm battery like as as normal without the connectors connected you can still start the car but once you start it, you see you've got a, the error light comes on, the engine light, and then you've also got this light that comes on, vehicle electrical system fault. So in order to remove that, you have to connect another sensor to the battery. Connect the sensor here to the new negative terminal that we just installed, and then this red wire connected to here where the positive terminal is okay now we've got this plug here just plug it in here after you connect this here, here as you can see okay one thing we also got to make sure we do is we've got to put this in into this one so we're going to take out that blue piece right there so i use a just like this to wiggle it out so for you to plug this in see that purple piece you got to move that purple piece so it gives you space to insert this into 
this hole. To all that, we just plug in the OBD reader into the OBD. Go. And then let's start it. Okay, so we still have the engine light on, still got that on. So let's see. So if you've um, plugged everything in um, and you notice that the errors still come up like this. So you still get the drive system. Then you also get the vehicle electrical error. It could be a fuse, which in this case for us it was. So it's a broken fuse. Broken fuse. Now it's gonna put the new fuse in and see how it goes. Okay, now we're gonna start the Porsche KM. So notice how the there's no electrical battery management system and that's all gone and there's no battery icon. So once we just close the door. There you go. Back to normal. So for those ones with the Porsche 2018 to 2023 KM, um, you've got an LFP battery in your car. So if you don't want to pay the dealership prices um, that you have to change it at the dealership, then you can up or you can go to get a AGM battery um with a kit that comes with it you can call us at battery rush and we can come out and install it for you so this comes with a kit like that um and an obd sensor here this will be a obd connector as well so you won't have to pay the dealership prices um, and it's going to be much cheaper for you.